Yeah. That's a cat, not a rat. Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> Game one on tower. Claren's off the stage. I imagine this isn't necessarily like the worst matchup for Claren, because while you're not as good on the ground, you do have that disjoint kind of stuff out bomb, and also Claren's just like natural anti-projectile tools. And these nares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, all these big disjoints are going to make it much more difficult for um, Om to just sort of sit in airspace. Um, and obviously, uh, Plasma Field is going to be snuffing out at least the um, notes, which are a very important part of Tom's game plan. But when it's that far off stage, it's not going to be doing much. Mm. We see very good patience in this Tom, obviously trying very difficult to just... Um, trying very much to just sort of wait for a way to punish this Claren, um, especially um, with such a lead where there was all those snares, maybe expecting even to be very aggressive um, in Claren, um, where you can sort of fade out sort of a whiff. Now R is doing a pretty good job of that. But Heathen is going to be able to even up that stock count. Unfortunately, gets called out, and Palm just kind of snowballing right now. And we see already just trying very much to sort of outspace all these disjoints. Noir just keeping um, as much disjoints as he can so that there isn't these fares that can hit. And looking for an opportunity to get in and start doing an aerial matches. Okay, I'm gonna throw Noir offstage. Fortunately, the Palm's recovery is one of her greatest strengths. Even after for all the changes made to it, mm -hmm. it's still so good. Could be a struggle for going. Ooh, that's rough. Even trying to go for a Palm, which she's not quite able to get it. Tom is one of these time. characters with Tom is one of these characters with float where if you just sort of hold a hold a uh, strong attack, especially a down strong, you know, you just float above it, and just wait you out, and then respond respond with a very strong aerial. A lot of these strongs that he didn't going for Noir is just completely avoiding and just immediately punishing. In fact, uh, Keaton is getting a lot more mileage out of all these aerials that are landing and falling in these tech choices. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like seeing Keaton is starting to get a grasp on how to deal with Noir's movement. It can be a bit tricky. But the double down tilt gonna force Noir to burn some resources and strongest that move just is gonna. Kills. And that just kills. Come out on deck. He's in, you know, kind of down a little bit towards the start of the game, but that edge guard came out and helped out in such a strong way. Noir just said, like, eh, works hard. <laughs> Noir running into livestock almost had it. It was definitely doable, so I understand the run back to Tower of Heaven. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Lots of plats, lots of places for Palm to move around with. Um, but as we were noticing, um, where 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 Heathen was getting a lot of advantage from was from just falling with all these aerials. So having these plats to set up these aerials is going to make it very difficult for um, if especially if Heathen sticks to it, it's going to be very difficult for her to actually get the advantage that um, they need to actually uh, close out stocks. I'm surprised we're not seeing Heathen trying to use Plasma Field at all. Mm -hmm. so Especially since he's so good at stuffing out these fireballs, which um, he hasn't been uh, parrying either. And again, no. oh, we've, other we've seen oh. We've seen attempts... Oh! Speaking of Plasma Field. We've seen attempts at parrying. Unfortunately, they haven't been the most fruitful. They can be a bit tricky online sometimes, especially. Right. Mm, but, ooh. Oh, that's fun. gonna come out again. And that kills. That must have been a lot um, bad DI, maybe. 
but also with that move, there's a lot of different places to keep the eye of depending on where you get hit on it. Clarence Hitler's are just something else. <laughs> the fact the beautiful that beautiful fair, beautiful fair there. The fact that Claren Dare can like temper behind her when the move is finishing is disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Again, going for these plasma field, maybe trying to take advantage of this, but Noir is just being very patient and just looking for any sort of um, whiff or any sort of thing that can be punished um, to hopefully gain some advantage state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Noir is trying to go for the side special to get something, but Temper F Strong is going to do it. Palm is kind of lighter, so you have to be particularly reactive with your DI. And especially being a character that's constant in the air, that you know, like there's already. She's always a little closer to the blast zone, blast zone than you are when you're using your strong attacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of seeing him swinging around right now, and it is proving effective. I mean, when you're, when you're a player and you have so much disjoint, and such swing can actually sometimes be helpful and it's a little bit um, unpredictable. But it, it also. Really? Um, can leave you very open to win punishing. Mm -hmm. It does really just depend on how your opponent is playing. If your opponent is kind of like doing what Noir's doing, not necessarily punishing you for swinging in a round, it can be it can be very useful because what's your opponent gonna do? Your attacks are just joined. It's not like they can force a trade. Mm -hmm. But if you are fight. fighting someone who is a bit more reactive, be a lot more careful with how you swing. And very good fare by Nair, uh, by Noir there, but the problem is this is a very big deficit. Any good move could kill um, Palm here. And we have the plasma field into a fair, and that kills! Unfortunate DI maybe was the reason why that was the that kill, but it was still fairly close, so we can see that uh, uh, Noir does not want to go back to Battlefield once again. Instead, bringing this uh, game three to Air Armada. And right away, we're seeing the plasma field already limiting what Palms can do on Air Armada. Um, although, of course, this is a stage that obviously has the pineapple effect, um, and Claren is someone where if you do not space your moves correctly, you can pineapple on the stage very easily. Although Pom can as well, but Pom has close grip outside of it. I don't think it's necessarily like as big an issue. Like if Claren in a lot more, it can be pretty hard, but you also are like like generally trying to recover higher with Claren anyways. Right. At least to keep hold on your resources. I mean Steen Noir just really trying their best to just uh keep distance, but these these notes that were initially working are now proving to be a problem where um, Claren is now able to throw out fields to punish them and thus make all of uh, Pom's approaches a lot more difficult. That's a very good down strong read. And so we see um, Pom trying her best to just get in and hopefully get an advantage state. Um, a single fair off off the stage could possibly do it um, right well, like we see like right you, there. Like you said. <laughs> hey, sometimes the commentators help, you know what I mean? <laughs> sometimes you're just psychic. <laughs> um, and we can see that uh, Noir is just trying to find a way in using um, Vince a lot to just try to hopefully get a, uh, a grab, but Vince, I don't think it's actually successfully grabbed even once this, this match. Um, and that side special. From my observation, oh, gonna try and kill off the top of Fortune. Doesn't get the tipper. Oh, but that's a dastardly angle. Tries to go for the oh, counter, but the SD. <laughs> SD followed by the taunt, as is, as is customary. Um, I see it. But this is a very high percent already for Palm. Any bad attack could kill her on the stage. The Noir is trying their best to just get as much percentage as they can on Ethan. And so we see them not Ooh. wanting to approach. Oh, and that, that just kills. Special will kill off the top. 
Again, just now seeing... finally using this plasma field very aggressively to make Pom's approach a lot more difficult. Yeah, just cut Pom. The, no, our has just been kind of like, not necessarily recklessly, but it worked. It was working in game one, so. Mm -hmm. so it's a habit you can recognize. Oh, my opponent's not parrying or struggling to parry. I mean, I'm just going to throw these projectiles for three, but Moir hasn't necessarily made the counter adaptation. He's been getting a lot they of damage. To. Very and again, yeah. Pom. Go for it. So yeah, I was going to say, it's like, Noir hasn't made the counter adaptation yet, but Ethan is doing a great job despite the SD deficit. And all it takes sometimes is just one there, and suddenly you're playing Smash 64 in the... Tide special is gonna catch it. Very good ledge trap for Palm, who does not have much movement once she's in her up special. And that will take this set with Heathen, Le with Heathen um, winning it, but it's always nice to see a Palm. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like one of the most least represented characters in Rivals. Palm's a hard character. Very Palm's difficult. Good. I have a Palm, but all she does is just sort of throw notes from very far away. <laughs> so it's always cool to see palms who can do a lot in the air um, while finding people. Mm -hmm. That is going to move Heathen on up to the fifth place qualifier. And up next we have Sunless versus Baron. Baron, okay. And unfortunately, we were a little spoiled on this, but I still expect this to be a very good match. And no, we, nice. we don't we don't know how this happened. Yeah, we don't we don't know anything. We don't know anything. We don't know anything. We were just put, <laughs> we're here to uh, put innocent bystanders. And so we will be seeing SK versus Zetterburn. Um, a very